everybody doing? This is pretty incredible. Thank you all so much for having me. I'm really honored to be here. Hi, guys. So we had an amazing discussion earlier today. And it got me thinking. And honestly, I decided to scrap my whole speech and talk to you about something else. I know that things can feel pretty weird right now. We spoke in my five o'clock room about you know, trying to find inspiration, trying to find direction. How do we do these things? And I know that the world feels strange. I know that it's got to be a really weird thing to be teenagers and see the leader of the free world acting like a king rather than an elected president. It's weird for me, too. I know that it is scary to live in the United States where we've seen an increase in white supremacist violence of 192% over the last two and a half years. It scares me too. I know that there are issues plaguing the planet. We ha we're seeing a pandemic begin. We're looking at a climate crisis. And I get that that can lead to hopelessness and that hopelessness can lead I wouldn't even say to apathy, but almost to fear that can paralyze us. But I want to tell you guys why I feel really, really hopeful. I feel hopeful standing in this room. I feel hopeful because of all of you, because of the number of incredible young people that I met today who asked about service, who asked about community, who want to talk about love and how to lift the world up. And if you're feeling anxious, I hope, if you'll do something with me, will you look to your right and make eye contact with the person sitting on your right, please? Well, I guess you'll have to look to your right and your left. Pick a side and then look to the other side. <laughs> some of your right, some of your left. Like, truly look in the eyes of the person sitting next to you because they should remind you that you're not alone in this. Hi. <laughs> okay, now look back here. <laughs> There's power in rooms like this because rooms like this remind us that we're all on the same team. And a room like this can be a reminder that this is a relay, it is not a marathon. None of us are in this alone. And if we work as a team, we can change the world. I was asked earlier, where do we start? And I know that when you're young and you're motivated and you want to change the world, maybe you don't know where to begin. So my suggestion to each of you, rather than thinking about having to make a decision, is to look to what inspires you. And you can figure out what inspires you in two ways. What makes you want to get out of bed in the morning and what makes you mad as hell? Because anger, in the face of injustice is something I like to call sacred rage. And I'm mad as hell at a lot of things happening in the world right now. But the sacred that motivates me. And I hope that it motivates all of you. So whether there's something that makes you want to just kick out of your sheets in the morning and fix it, or there's something that makes you so angry that you can't sleep thinking about it, figure out how to show up in service of that issue. And if you think you don't have the answers, or perhaps you're not sure where to begin, what I will say is look up an organization working on that issue, show up, and help the helpers. Because everywhere, every cause, there are people who are dedicated to making it right. And if you show up and help the helpers, you will learn at their feet, you will learn more and more about the issue the longer that you're willing to volunteer your time and your energy. And in a couple of years, there's going to be kids at this conference who decide they want to help the helpers, and they'll go to the organization working on an issue near and dear to their hearts, and you'll be the person guiding them. I hope that you all know how wildly powerful you are, how inspiring you are for just being here and for everything I know you're going to do when you get home. And I hope that you all get out there 
and vote like your lives and the lives of the people you care about depend on it, because they do. If we voted, all of us millennials, I am one, thank you, and all of you Gen Zers, if we voted like we were the most powerful voting bloc on earth, and we are, we would change the planet overnight. So let's do it, shall we? I'm so, so inspired by all of you, proud of all of you. Thank you so much for having me here today. It was lovely to be here.